everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Davis Maddock of Sports Grid, who's here to break down the Players' Championship here this week on the PGA Tour. Coming off a major Bryson victory last week at the Arnold Palmer. What's going on, Davis? Yeah, you know, we are uh, we're feeling good. Have a little bit of extra money in the golf betting bankroll now. Bryson hit at 12-1 to 1 last week, so feeling pretty good about that and rolling into what i think is a a fantastic tournament a lot of uh pga dfs players and golf bettors love the players championship because of some of the wacky results that it can deliver and it's a it's a great golf course on tv so looking forward to it we'll take wacky this week it's more fun when it's a little bit wacky And, and let's start off with your favorite uh this week here the one you're going with at first and that's a 17 to 1 John Rahm. First time we're talking about John Rahm, I believe, this season. Coming off talking a lot about Rory, a lot about Bryson. With Brooks Kepka out, you're going with John Rahm here at 17-1. to 1. Why is this when we're taking Rahm? So, I almost never, when I come on this show with you, lead with John Rahm. I, I think maybe twice in the whole time we've done this. You know, it's Rory, it's DJ, it's Bryson. Every once in a while, JT. I don't find myself being a big John Rom guy, but when I looked at the data golf simulations for the Players Championship this week, I have never seen John Rom have such a dominant projection over the other great golfers, right? Over DJ, over Rory, and you know historically he has been in contention here. Uh, he is, you know, a great fit for a golf course where there are four par fives, which is how TPC Sawgrass is set up. It's a par seventy-two, and the number at seventeen to one on the FanDuel Sportsbook, which is, I think, the most generous I saw posted at any sports book so you know whoever our compatriots are over there making the odds they're not big john rom guys over at FanDuel. I, I think 17 to 1 and data golf having him as their you know their highest projected golfer for the week i think it's it's kind of just a must bet situation it's all kind of fallen in place here right the number is right the course is right for john rom and obviously he's one of the best players in the world maybe not one of your favorites that you want to bet on but everything needs just fallen into place perfectly. That John Rahm here at 17 to 1 is something you can't ignore. I thought we were talking about Justin Thomas here. Obviously, I was wrong. So it's John Rahm here in this spot, 17 to 1, Davis's favorite golfer here this week. Now we'll get into two golfers that we do talk about pretty often. We'll start with Scotty Scheffler. Scheffler this week is, I believe, 41 right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Why is Scotty Scheffler here at 41 uh, something you like? So. Scheffler's game is in a really good spot right now. Fifth at the WGC, T20 at the Genesis, T7 at the Waste Management Open. I think, you know, again, his game, just someone I want to continue to buy on. But also a really interesting thing about the Players' Championship and TPC Sawgrass is there's so much water and it is the golf course that leads to the most double bogeys or worse on the PGA Tour Uh, I I think it kind of opens up for some noise. And so betting this mid-range in general in this event is something I want to do. And and some of the guys who have won here over the last, you know, decade, Martin Keimer, Siwoo Kim, KJ Choi, like guys who were not amongst the best in the world when they teed it up at the Players' Championship. I I just think it it does kind of lend itself to being noisy. So I, I want to employ a pretty middle heavy uh strategy on my betting card this week and Scheffler just continues to be a guy that I, I'm betting until he pays off for me there's a lot of guys like that we're just gonna keep betting until they pay off and obviously uh this week Scotty Scheffler is one of those players in this mid-tier uh with all this water he's in a good spot we, we think anyway at 40 to 1 over the FanDuel Sportsbook right now Scotty Scheffler due to win the big one and now if we go even further down the board, we'll get to your guy, Corey Connors, the Canadian. We talk about Corey Connors like all the time, really, here on the Hurry Up. And this week, why is it going to be different, Davis? Well, I, it almost was different last week. Uh, he really, I mean, I guess other than Lee Westwood running extremely good with the putter, Corey Connors was the guy who challenged Bryson at top of the leaderboard, ended up finishing third uh and and just getting him at a really deep number at this golf course and just looking at the way that data golf does their course fit and course history adjustments Corey connors is getting one of the biggest baseline adjustments here at tpc sawgrass which again makes sense really anytime there are four par fives there are only like 25 guys on tour i would even consider betting at uh at a par 72 golf course and connors would be one of them you know he's just so good with his long irons he's gonna have way more eagle chances than someone you know like like matt kuchar or uh or webb simpson so Corey connors 
really solid with the long irons. I mean, maybe one of the, the 10 best players with long irons on the PGA Tour. Four par fives, we're going to get some noise from all the water. Uh, maybe, it, it, you know, the wind kicks up uh, and that just feeds into the variance even more. So just wanting to add guys like Corey Connors at deeper numbers to my card this week. He played really, really well. He was in it with Bryson and Lee Westwood uh, there at the end. And, and can he continue that momentum here this week on a course that should be pretty good for him? And to get him at this number, 90 to 1, I think it's hard to ignore. Corey Connors makes sense here at the Players. That's going to do it for us here in the FanDuel Hurry of Davis. We appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Hey, uh, you know, we, we put a win on the card last week, and I am I'm feeling good. For the Florida swing, I think we're going to be able to put some more winners in the book. So let's uh, let's start this week with one of these three fellas. Hey, man, you said it when we got to Florida, things were going to change. And they did last week. Hopefully we can keep the momentum going here this week. Tomorrow on the Hurry Up, we'll be joined by Aaron Dolan to take a look of uh, on some basketball that you should be betting on tomorrow night. For Davis Maddock, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.